Hello my friends and welcome back to another beautiful video. Today we're learning all about Femcell Phoebe. Now she's a very special type of Femcell and I really think you're going to like it a lot. After that we're going over here to the green T cell. Another type of cell, <laughs> we're really going to have a good time over there too. Now if you like this kind of stuff, please do me a favor and activate that like button so I know to make more of it and for YouTube's algorithm. With that having been said, let's begin. So Femcell Phoebe. What's hand holding? I guess she's not used to holding people's hands. And hey, that's okay. That's okay. A lot of folks out there aren't really holding people's hands nowadays. Don't worry about that. Maladaptive daydreamer. So she's, she's daydreaming all the time and it's not really doing anything for her. Hey, I daydream. Do y'all daydream? I daydream. Anyway, I daydream hard, man. I'm always thinking about stuff in my head. And y'all remember Doug? Doug was always daydreaming. Then again, Doug was fucked. Has had the same three friends since middle school. Oh, that's cool. She still got her friends from middle school. Any of y'all still have your friends from middle school? Man, I had a bunch of friends in middle school, but I have no idea where any of them are now. Every now and then I find out one of them is like dead and shit, and I'm just like, no. Deep down, she still has the naive hope that someone will love her. Well, hey, I wouldn't say that's naive. I mean, there is someone who will love her. Femcell Phoebe, you know, <laughs> I just noticed, like, is that is that dirt in her hair? <laughs> Baby mama, you ever heard of shampoo? Skrr, skrr. Nah, there's someone out there that will love himself, Phoebe, man. There really is. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, yeah, really. And I like that shirt. I just realized that's L-D-A-R. If you don't know what that means, it actually means lay down and rot. And, uh, she, she doing her thing, man. I like himself, Phoebe. I think she's cool as fuck. But yeah, look, just, it's never naive to have hope that someone will love you. Because there is someone who will love you, alright? And no matter what's going on with you, baby. Uh, it says she's skinny fat. Skinny fat. That's okay. Lots of folks are skinny fat. Hey, maybe she, she, she needs to gym max. She can start eating lots of peanut butter and protein shakes and, you know, posting pictures of her booty on the gram and stuff. Yeah, you can always do that sort of thing, too. Still tries to dress cute because she likes the aesthetic, but feels self-conscious. Oh. Yeah. No, she is cute, man. Look at that. Lay down on rot shirt. That's a really cool idea for a shirt. I, uh... I'm going to make some really cool lay down and rot designs, and I'm going to make shirts with that shit, and I hope some of you will buy them. Has tried RPW maxing, but got rejected. RPW maxing. Now, I actually had to Urban Dictionary that shit, and it said recently plugged woman. So, apparently it's like she recently got plugged, like recently, you know, hooked up with someone, I guess. But, but the point is she got rejected, so it didn't work. They saw Phoebe and they were like, hell no, oh, to the no, no, no has had to listen to her friends complain about their boyfriends doing minor shit for the last 13 years. Oh, yeah. And I guess Femcell Phoebe, she's kind of like, Femcell Phoebe, sweet, man. She's going to be like, at least you have a boyfriend. And Femcell Phoebe will too, okay? Because I'm telling you, there's there's those guys out there that are going to love her, baby. They're going to love her. They're going to treat her right too, man. You ain't kidding. Skirt, skirt. Uh, either completely avoids mirrors or obsessively checks herself in them looking for flaws. Oh, that's difficult, isn't it? Uh, any of y'all experience that? You know, we look in mirrors and we just pin pick out all the things that are wrong with ourselves and uh, things we're self-conscious about. Hell yeah, that's true. There's so many great things we can see when we look in the mirror, but we kind of focus on the negative things that people say to us. And it can also be that way with our projects that we work on in life. Like, we can have so many people tell us nice things about them, but then there comes that asshole that says some mean ass shit and you're like, man, you, you focus on that shit, you know? So let's not focus on the negatives. Let's focus on the positives. It can really, you know, make our lives better and shit. Hell yeah. I still want to know what the fuck that is in her hair. Is that like shit or something? The face when no boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's going to find somebody, babe. Somebody going to love himself, Phoebe. She wears baggy clothes to hide her body. Oh, yeah, because she's kind of concerned about that, huh? Yeah. Well, hey, you know, developing our body is a great way to feel better about ourselves, you know? I always say develop your body not for other people, but for yourself, so you can feel better about yourself and stuff. Hell, yeah. Probably really into art or STEM. S-T-E-M. Now, um, I'm going to have to go search that one. I don't know what that means. Hold on one second. A mix of a stud and femme. She dresses like a stud and femme. Oh, she's a stem. Stud, femme, gay, rainbow, stem. Hmm. Uh, I still don't understand, really, but uh, hopefully you do. Is shy, but actually a really nice person when you get to know her. Oh yeah, they know that's how a lot of shy people are, you know? Once you get to know them, they're just, they're wonderful, nice, kind people. They just, you know, kind of, kind of hard to open up around others. Hell yeah. That's okay with that, baby. I imagine a lot of y'all may be like that, too. That's okay, baby. Don't you worry about that. Uh, her superpower is being invisible to men. Oh, she feels invisible, huh? 
Man, yeah, I imagine that would be a very difficult way to feel, feeling like you're invisible. Trying to bay bucks so that she can ascend. Bay bucks. Uh, I imagine maybe that means like she's going to do cam girl stuff or something, like basically getting money for being a good looking babe so that uh, maybe she can ascend, you know? Perhaps, I'm not sure on that one, but uh. But once I find out what it is, if you want me to do a video on it, I will. Let me know in the comments, please let me know. At the start of high school, her friends started dating slash getting boyfriends. She waited for it to happen to her. It never did. Oh yeah, that's something that a lot of folks feel, huh, and experiences. When you get to high school, and then, you know, everyone around you starts getting significant others, but you may not, and you kind of feel left behind, kind of feel out in the cold, you know, all alone. You're like, man, shit ain't working for me, but it's working for everyone else. Yeah, difficult, huh? Difficult when you feel like everyone around you is doing the things that you wish you were doing, and hell yeah, it's just difficult stuff, my friends. But if you start falling in that trap and feeling like that, always remember, there, always remember, there's a way, baby. Femcell, Phoebe, there is a way. For you to get exactly what you want, okay? It's just a path to it, all right? We're gonna have to start with washing that hair of yours. Skr, skr. Her parents and friends call her beautiful, despite the fact that mirrors break when she looks at them. What if you went to look in a mirror, and like, as soon as you look in the mirror, <laughs> the shit just cracks. Like, skr, like, how bad would you feel about yourself if that actually happened? She copes by reading fanfics and watching rom-coms. Uh, so I know what fanfics are, fan fictions, but what is a rom-com, dude? We, we learning all kinds of shit today. Hold on a second. I probably just need to like keep this open in another tab or something. Oh, okay. A rom, it's a romantic comedy. How was the movie? Great, I loved it. It was a rom-com. Okay, romantic comedy. Any of y'all watch those? Any of y'all watch romantic comedies? I don't. And again, I don't watch like any movies, unless they're like from the 90s or the 80s. Will fall in love with anyone that lets her borrow a pencil or smiles at her. Oh yeah, there you go. See, a lot of times when, when folks aren't getting the love that they wish that they were getting, right? They're longing for it, have a strong desire for it. Next thing you know, someone will just be kind of nice to you. And all of a sudden you may find yourself falling for them, you know, because you've, you've got these desires that you want, things that aren't being met, you know, you got these needs, baby. And they're not being met, so you're very, very easy to, uh, you know, fall for somebody. So, yeah, yeah, that's difficult, too. Cries while looking at r slash wholesome hentai. Holy shit. <laughs> Hugs her pillows and pretends it's a boyfriend when she goes to sleep. Oh, well, that's sweet. There's nothing wrong with that. Hug that pillow, babe. You got body pillow? You got a body pillow yet? Might also have anxiety or depression. Oh yeah, more, for, more folks now than ever are experiencing a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. It's a, uh, you know, it's not just Femcell Phoebe, it's so many now. And uh, you know, we all just need to work together, baby. Stick together, be a team. We all gonna make it, okay? Each and every last one of us gonna make it, including the green tea cell. Holy shit, look at this person. <laughs> Let's check this out. Failed entry level courses. Um, either has 46 <laughs> or no chins. Well, damn. What? <laughs> Hormonal acne. Yeah, we can see that. We can definitely see the, you know, hormonal acne. This motherfucker look like a little troll. <laughs> Damn, bruh. Her imaginary boyfriend broke up with her. Oh, that sucks. Like, <laughs> you're, when your imaginary boyfriend's breaking up with you, babe, we got some problems. Holy shit. Uh, she's also a maladaptive daydreamer. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, Femcell Phoebe was, huh? Maladaptive daydreaming. That shit's real. Hell yeah. Was in AD and ED. Was in AD and ED. Uh, you, you know what time it is, bruh. You know what time it is. AD and ED. When I hear AD, like I think after death, you know, a, 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 of Christ. AD, ED, here it is. Acronym for all day, er day. Used to express the accomplishment of something you effortlessly just did, which happens to be past uh, part of your daily routine. What'd you get on the chemistry final? 100% AD, ED. Huh fucking stupid dude do people really say this stupid shit or is it just on urban dictionary and it keeps showing us this shit on urban dictionary so let's learn what this is a uh, june 11th word of the day cop kisser someone who is extremely nice to a police officer even when the police officer is being a jerk that dude is a cop kisser he thanked the officer for giving him a ticket for jaywalking at 3 a.m on a sunday a cop kisser <laughs> i like that one's funny that one's funny <laughs> okay apple shaped but with toothpick legs Oh, damn. Shit. Dropped out of high school. Yeah, that's never a good idea, baby. Don't drop out of high school. Look, look. High school may get difficult sometimes, may be stressful. All right, you may be going through all kinds of shit, but don't drop out. 
If you do it, you're gonna regret that shit, all right? Push on, baby, just push through. Greasy tablet pin at the ready to make misandrist memes. Now, I have to confess, when I read this one, I did not know what misandrist actually meant. It's not something I've, you know, heard before. So I had to look that shit up, and misandrist is actually someone that hates or dislikes men or boys. So, you know, it's like the opposite of a misogynist. Uh, someone that practices misandry is called a misandrist. Wow. So, she hates men and boys and stuff, you know, uh... I would too if I, if I, if that was me. I'd probably hate everyone. I'd probably hate you. Yes, you. Motherfucker. Sex drive lower than the Mariana Trench. Oh, not much sex drive going on, huh? Hey, there's, there's sometimes like herbal supplements and stuff you can take for that shit, right? Hell yeah. Uh, hates it when men watch porn, but she also watches porn herself. Oh, hell yeah. I want to know what kind of porn this motherfucker watches, man. She be looking at trolls shit. She be looking at trolls from Trolls 2, that fan fiction. Oh, never mind. Has never had an orgasm. Uh, <laughs> Really? Are there folks out there who have never busted? Never busted a nut? You gotta get that nut, baby. You gotta get that nut sometimes, huh? Has a collection of mental disorders, starting with social anxiety, ADHD, and depression. Oh yeah, that's really at an all-time high right now. You know, I imagine so many of y'all have experienced these sorts of things too. Really? Hell yeah, baby. Uh, she's too broke for AirPods. AirPods. You know, I've never had AirPods. Have any of y'all had AirPods? I, I get that they're kind of neat. I just, I don't know, dude. Like, a, they're expensive as fuck, right? You could probably find like a knockoff brand, but B, like, I never like, really liked those kinds of headphones because they fall out of your ears easily, right? They fall out of your ears so easily, man. I am wanna get some that have like the loop that loop around your ear and stick in there, you know? That, I don't know, it's probably just me. Everyone seems to think AirPods are so cool. I think it's just marketing, dude. I think it's just marketing. I don't, I don't give the fuck air. It's just marketing, man. Like, look at me, I'm cool, I have AirPods. <laughs> fuck you, all right? Fuck you. Gatorade tea. Gatorade tea. What the fuck? She makes tea out of Gatorade? <laughs> what? She's a little weirdo, baby. You a little creep, baby. You creeping on him hard. iPhone bought by mommy. Oh, so her mom bought her iPhone. You know mommy bought those damn AirPods too, baby. <laughs> she bought them that shit. Hell yeah. Mommy probably feel kind of bad. She's like, baby, you look like a troll. Let me buy you some shit. Might be peanut butter or pee. Oh, nasty. The shit that's on her shirt. It might be peanut butter or pee. Ew. That's, man, you a nasty little motherfucker, man. You like, you need to do something about that shit. Like, you, you, you nasty. Uh, has never held hands. Okay. Well, with hands that look like that, I mean, who would want to hold those fucking things? They look like claws. And weird feet. Holy shit, we're just talking about your hands. Yeah, your feet too. Them look like claws too, baby. Hashtag, do the chickens have large talons? Uses misandry as a cope for the fact that she's going to die alone. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I think with Femcell Phoebe, I was saying, you know, there's there's folks who will be with her. You know, she ain't gonna die alone, baby. <laughs> but this motherfucker, on the other hand, you gonna die alone. She reminds me of our boy, the Royal Majesty. 19 and has never learned to drive or gotten a job. Oh yeah, sometimes, you know, if you, if you wait too long to get started doing the things that are a part of, you know, just part of growing up, uh, it, it can become really difficult, right? You want to be on that shit, babe. And if you may say, you may say, well, it's already too late for me. I'm 21 and I haven't done this. I'm 22. I haven't done this. Well, start now, baby. Now is the best time than ever to start, okay? You can't go back in time, but you can start right now. So whatever kind of shit you're backed up on, you're getting laid on, start that shit now, all right? Don't waste any more time, all right? It's only going to get more difficult if you wait. Diet consists of McDonald's, microwave meals, hot noodles, and the occasional overcooked pasta and tomato sauce. That's a hell of a diet right there. Yeah, man. You know, in, in all 100% honesty, seriousness here, okay? Super ethereal. Um, uh, what we eat really, really affects our mood. It really affects our bodies, you know, all sorts of stuff. Matter of fact, when I was about 17 years old and I stopped drinking soda one summer, all of my acne went away. I had really bad acne when I was younger. Once I stopped drinking soda, it all went away. And that's when I learned that it was because of the sugar in it, you know? I, for some reason, when I eat a lot of sugar, it made me break out. So I stopped the soda, all the acne went away, and my life got a lot better. Knows this is bad, but won't change it because she's lazy. And food is one of the only things left that brings her joy in life. Oh yeah, a lot of times uh, we can be sort of like addicted to food in ways of, it'll, you know, it brings us this short-term happiness, huh? But then afterwards we feel even like worse than before. Hell yeah. That's why I always think it's best that we find, you know, if we're going to have vices in our life, let's let those vices be good things, you know, things that are good for us. You know, maybe, maybe work out a lot, you know, maybe, uh, maybe become addicted to learning, maybe get to the point where 
if you stop learning and implementing new ideas and strategies in your life, that that is what makes you feel bad, right? Become addicted to learning, become addicted to improving yourself and your life, and hell yeah. It probably actually is her personality and lifestyle that make her a fem, a fem cell. Yeah, hell yeah it is, you know? Personality goes a long way, you know? Not just for outer, but for inner as well. Because a lot of times, whatever we're thinking about, like whatever we think of ourselves, that's more important than anything, right? And it's part of our personality, right? So let's, let's talk to ourselves the right way, okay? And treat ourselves the right way. Develop that great personality, okay? Hasn't brushed her teeth in three weeks. That's something we need to work on, okay? That's probably why that's probably why you missing most of your fucking teeth. You gotta brush those puppies every single day, okay? Uh, preferably at least twice a day, okay? But uh, <laughs> you got that's not good. Three weeks, damn. Her younger brother used to bully her. Younger brother used to bully her, huh? Man, come on now. You supposed to be bullying him. He younger than you. You supposed to be bullying him, not letting him bully you. Has the same art skill that she had when she was thirteen. Oh, well, hey, maybe she wasn't really working on it so much, you know? Maybe she just kind of let it do its thing. I still have the same art skill I had when I was about, like, five. Actually, I'm probably worse now than I was when I was five. A chestlet, but somehow also has saggy boobs. Chestlet. I've never heard that before. A chestlet. <laughs> Who comes up with this shit? Tries to improve her life, but usually fails. Oh, that's how it goes, baby. You know, everything, everything that we can actually succeed in, we're going to fail at first, but we got to keep failing, keep trying, you know, and learning from our failures, you know? I always say if you if you learn some shit, then you, you didn't really fail because you learned shit, right? It's all part of the process, baby, part of the journey. Hell yeah. Middle class white girl who thinks that people ignoring her was bullying. Uh, yeah, if people are just ignoring you, that's not really bullying, you know? They, just, they probably just don't give a fuck about you, right? Better for folks to ignore you than to harass you, right? Has no friends IRL. All of her social interaction comes from Reddit. Oh, well, hey, I, I'm sure you can find some amazing folks over there on Reddit. As long as you be careful which uh, subreddits you go into. Some of them subreddits, man. <laughs> was supposed to be gifted, but once tried to use a knife to get toast out while the toaster was turned on. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. That's a, uh, you know, that, that might be part of why you look like that. She is a serial procrastinator. Oh, hell yeah, baby. I know, I know that procrastination, that gets us, you know. It's all about overcoming that procrastination, right? We gotta overcome that shit, baby. Don't let it get you, all right? Should've won a Darwin Award for not accidentally killing herself. Oh, yeah. Dangerous life, baby. Dangerous life, well, sometimes. Uh, she wants to rope, but has never had the courage to do it. Well, hey, we don't want her doing that, okay? There's always a way out of the difficulties you're going through. You don't need to do that shit, all right? No rope around here, baby, all right? Uh, just hope, baby, hope. Don't rope, okay? Was neat for a while. Yeah, you know, a lot of folks are neat now, you know? And if you don't know what neat means, that's uh, not in employment, education, or training, you know? Employment, education. And there's lots of folks living that neat life, baby. And it can be difficult. Make people feel depressed, lonely, sad. Make people feel hopeless. Very difficult, deep, deep, uh, dark holes that we go down in life. But my, my point to you is that there's always a path. There's always a way to get out of that, okay? All right? And there's always gonna be someone who will love you, okay? For who you are, all right? Not for who you have to be fake or try to be something you're not, but for whoever it is that you are, okay? Now, if you enjoyed this video, then I'd really like you to please hit the thumbs up. It would really help me out with YouTube's algorithm and let me know to make more of these. Until next time, baby, I got this video right here. I want you to watch this one next, okay? If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will be seeing you so soon. Hey, every night at 8 p.m. Central, come hang out. We always have such a great time on our live streams.